Battle Royale has claimed its place as gaming's biggest genre in recent time. Like it or not, the mode is here to stay, even if it drops in popularity over time. Currently, Battle Royale games are still trending and more and more of them are being released. You all heard of Fortnite, but today we'll be taking a look at some Steam freebies. This is Top 5 Free Battle Royale Games on Steam. Number 5. Infestation the New Z This is primarily a survival zombie game. And as such, its battle royale game mode features, you guessed it, zombies. The game is not very graphically appealing, I won't lie. And it has many other problems as well. This game is not really on top of my recommendation list. And is here only as the best of the rest to fill the list. If Red Bull Heights wasn't shutting down, that game would probably make the list. But we have what we have. If you like an idea of a zombie infested battle royale, you should check this game out, it's not that bad. It still has an ok player base, with today's peak standing at 1500 players, so I think you won't struggle to find games. One of the pioneers of battle royale is at our number 4, H1Z1. Not the most polished or loved game out there, but there are still plenty to look at here. It became free not that long ago, and many people are complaining because of it. But there are still many players playing with today's peak being 10,000 players. Unlike PUBG, it's more fast-paced and it has crafting that is well thought through. It's not as good as PUBG and it has some other flaws, but hey, now it's free. It won't hurt to try if you like what you see. At number 3 lies a game that was originally an April Fool's joke, but due to great reception became the real thing. Cuisine Royale is quirky. Your armor is made out of cooking appliances, and for health you eat a lot of well-made meals. The game looks incredible and is well optimized. In a round there are 30 players instead of 100 and a map is not that large, but I don't think that's an issue. It has an amazing variety of weapons and it's insanely fun. It also features the best loot box system in existence because the loot boxes are scattered around the map and are free to open. The player base is pretty big with over 2500 players playing at today's peak. I suggest giving this game a try for some great laughs and a fun time. You won't regret it. Number 2 features another game made by Hyra Studios, the creators of Smite and Paladins, Realm Royale. The game got insanely popular at its release, with Ninja playing it for quite some time, but the hype turned down over time. It's still very very popular, with over 17,000 players playing at today's peak. In many terms, it's similar to Fortnite. It looks and plays very similar, however, there is no building in this game. Instead, you have forges scattered over the map in which you can craft yourself the legendary armor and weapons. It's also the only real game to have classes integrated in it, each with its own abilities and a legendary weapon. You can also travel around with a horse, which is pretty neat. The game has many incredible features, it's very easy to get into, and if you hate building in Fortnite, and are interested in a class system and still like a more cartoonish style, I think this game is absolutely perfect for you. Our final game hasn't been free from the start, but became such shortly after because it failed to steal PUBG and Fortnite's audience. Darwin Project is probably the most ambitious game on the list. Along with 10 players on the map, there is also a director. He acts as a spectator of the match, but also has many tools to make matches more interesting. The game is set in a winter area, in which instead of a big circle getting smaller, the game has many zones that get shut down one by one. It also has crafting and since the game is set in a cold environment, you need to stay warm at all times. Today's peak number of players was 829, which maybe isn't as much as some other titles. And since there are only 11 players per match, that is not a big concern. It's probably the closest game to the actual Hunger Games experience we have for now. 
and it is my top recommendation on this list. And finally we have reached the conclusion. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video be sure to gently press that like button and I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. Carl Brown signing out, have a good one.